And, and now it's, uh, let's talk about all the awesome level design changes that we have in store from you. Right, I mean, I think the first one we're going to talk about is, uh, so, yeah, we've had this user in Twitch chat I saw him earlier, Mapu Pipu said, open the mine, like all caps, so... Uh, I've seen that quite a lot, actually, I, so... Yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had to just, you know, while you were talking about all this other stuff, you know, the, the merch and, and shit, I just went and, like, did it real quick. Um, oh, so, thank yeah. you. I, I mean, there you go. While Rick was talking, I actually managed to put it in the presentation as well. So uh, let's talk about the mines a bit. Nice, yeah, nice. <laughs> right, so basically we've opened up the mine underneath Kingsnake. Um, it's uh, connecting this um, construction side, side building with the main boss pit underneath and uh, one big entrance, the one that's been all boarded up, right, towards, um, towards like the inner yard, the downstairs yard. Um, there's a, I mean, we could hop straight to the pictures. There's some staircase in there to get into the boss pit, a ladder, an elevator, lots of ways to get into the boss pit and out of it. Yeah, here's a previous yeah. version. And obviously those that were uh, lucky enough to see these on social media, you could already get a peek. But uh, yeah, this is the closed version of the mine, uh, as Tom mentioned, and suddenly it's all open. <laughs> it's really cool. And uh, right. yeah, so how can people access the uh, the main building from here exactly? So you can see a bit here on the left top corner, there's a staircase going up. So this one leads into the boss pit. I don't know if you have it in your head right now. It's just, it has this bottom part <clears throat> where it's also been kind of blocked off. I also know that some people have already found ways to get in there even on live already and see like uh, work in progress broken stuff but now it's uh, all nice and pretty and dressed up you can see here again the staircase right behind the cameras basically where new elevators this elevator takes you all the way up top i think does it take you to the no it takes you to the first floor to where the crank gate is but yeah there's there's a bunch of ways now to get in there basically get in and out and this is my favorite and, um, one it looks so cool <laughs> we tried yeah, we tried to keep it simple, like we didn't want to make a huge, obviously we didn't want to make a huge mazy mine complex, you know, with dark corners where, you know, people would sit. But it's more of, it. I mean, obviously it's a mine, it needed the mine shaft, it needed the underground area, it needed the cave, we, we couldn't make it for the initial release. Um, because of performance reasons back in the day, but it's always been bothering us and on our list to, to add it. And yeah, here it is, I guess. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, obviously, uh, whenever the update is on test servers, you guys can all try it out. Uh, and please leave us our feed, uh, leave us feedback regarding this as well, as it's a whole new area to access. But this is obviously not the only change. I, 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 actually, it is a small part of the level design changes we have in store for you. And uh, our awesome level design team actually made changes on all three maps. But uh, let's start off with uh, Steelwater Bayou. And uh, uh, these are just the compounds that were changed, but uh, we're gonna look at them one by one. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you a small like from the pictures to get a little overview. I'm just gonna tell you the most significant change about it, I guess. And you know, if you'd wanna just go through the pictures. Yeah. Alice Farm, as we all know and love or hate, I don't know how, how you guys feel about it. Now there's this window on the barn because it's always been people like trying to peek the gaps and cracks there. And it's always been this weird fight or there's this little hole on the left where, where people would usually fight through from this little shack that is like left of the camera right now, this little barn. And we wanted a cleaner way to fight them, basically added this window. You can also see this little roof right there is new uh, underneath the window. And this connects basically the two side roofs of the building now. And if you want to skip to the or if you want to go to the next picture, you can see here that in the silo, there's now a ladder that takes you up to this side of the roof so this is now accessible hasn't been accessible before i believe and you can basically go into the corn silo climb up there on the roof switch to the other side of the building if you wanted to it just gives you more options and um yeah just more options to play around this building it's basically. awesome and uh, yeah just to note that i always show the before uh, first and then the after so it makes sense and i'll hmm. go back and forth so a chat can exactly see the changes but yeah that's definitely you can also 
Yeah, I can also see that we basically made it so that this uh, roof is not as um, it's not looking like a Swiss cheese as much anymore <laughs> as it did before. So you know where people are, you know where people look out of, because where there's still a hole in the roof with these um, planks, you can still have people be there and look out into the forest and into the inner yard. But it's now much more focused, and you know, you know where people can be basically. There's some awesome changes for Ellie's farm. And uh, that let's look at livestock. What changed there? Right. One compound over, this little hole. Um it's been uh, it's uh, well we made basically we added a ramp to it, right? It's always been this there's there's these situations where you have to drop in there and you you're kind of trapped because the only way to get out is to either vault or to use a ladder. I don't, I don't think anybody ever used that little ladder there, uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you can see it on the before image. Also, the little vault on the fence above the hole uh, is now <laughs> like a full height fence, so you don't get shot while you're in this inner yard randomly anymore. You can still climb over it. There's some hay bounds behind it. You'll see on the next picture. There's some hay bounds behind it where you can still vault out and get into the hole when, if you want to escape or if you want to go underground. It, um, the it underground was... has changed a bit as well, I believe. Just real quick, because the crank gate that was right at the boss pit didn't really sit right with us. And we we're thinking um, to give a better way there to get into the compound, get more use out of this underground connection, basically, because it felt very underused so we're hoping by changing doing some slight changes here and there to give it a bit more viability yeah i just wanted to say that it was always like a little trap where you uh like uh, vaulted yeah. over the fence and just fell into the hole and sometimes there was some ai in there and then it was not always the yeah. best spot to be in especially when you're running from teams in the open fields there so yeah, you, know, you get like chased out of the compound and then and, and you drop in there and now uh, well you gotta I mean your only choice is to hide in the tunnels, but then like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like it was kind of can, a death trap can, situation, yeah. Yeah. Smoother just smoother movement in this area. And then from another angle. Yeah, I can see here as well, like the we've also changed a bit the covers around it, so like this uh, tree trunk, you know, is a bit more acting as as proper cover now it's just very slight subtle changes here this little crouch hole in the fence like right in the center of the image there just giving you a bit more just details tiny details that we did here that uh, might help in it's very situational changes and uh, then let's move into the crematorium side of the map. again <laughs> and uh, so... th this is some awesome changes here actually <laughs> yeah Again, pitching, the, this time we're looking a bit, uh, not only, but we're also looking a bit at the upper area of pitching and trying to give it a bit more structure because it did feel very, like, unsafe to a certain degree. Like, you didn't really want to be up there. You, you could get shot from, from a lot of different places. So we're just trying to add more structure, make it a bit clearer. You know, you have this, this corridor behind this wall there more more clearly separated now and things like that. It's also just some structural changes. The bigger one is this one. Although on this <laughs> screenshot, it doesn't really tell you a lot, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's a door. <laughs> there's a, a door. Wall, there's a door. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> but that's but a nice door, actually, right? <laughs> yeah, nice door. That's very nice. Now, actually, on the next screenshot, you'll see where it leads. Um, so Woo! this is when you come from the forest, from healing towards pitching. There's a new entrance now where you don't have to go into the compound first to get to the ramp or get to the staircase or the elevator or whatever, or go south to the water. But you actually have an entrance here that is a is a bit more convenient, I guess, if you come from the forest, but also for the defenders or people coming out of the compound. Gives you a little bit of a ramp to to peek maybe into the forest, right? And uh, where people usually sit and wait. So you have a bit of uh, just another option there to make your way out. Yeah, I think it's great. Like people also love the changes of the chapel with the new entrances. So I think these are always like changing up the game a bit. It's more options is always better. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we uh, have some one, other angles. This one works. Yeah. Right, yeah. So you see kind of where it is. So also, since there was this before, 
there was these like individual walls there it could get a bit messy sometimes where you're not exactly sure where the person is but now you have just this big block that you can play around uh makes it a bit more readable but yeah again details just you know looking at the compound see what we can improve on um yeah there's always like the smaller the... changes to noticeable like the tree location change and stuff like that it yeah it's overall feels more natural and i think nicer as well uh but yeah let's go over to port rico then <laughs> yeah port rico easy stairs <laughs> stairs <laughs> more stairs yeah <laughs> And some more trees in the background. The boat moved a bit, but that stair is also great because it's yeah. Sometimes the trees annoying. in the back. I think that's just something went wrong with the screenshots. They've, <laughs> they've been there. I don't know how that happened. Um, but yeah, it's basically it's stairs because yeah. If you go to the next one, I think the next one is also stairs. Stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give you more options to get up there because it can sometimes be a bit frustrating when you're down there when you when you were pushed out of the compound you had to drop down like finding your way back in you have to take if you want to be somewhat safe about it you got to take huge ass detours to to get back up top and, and fight your way back in so it's just a few more spots for you to basically be able to do that also the one on the screenshot before if you it just gives you another option to push this Scupper Lake uh, boss building, like yeah, this one towards Scupper Lake. So you can, if you're on the huts coming from Alice and you're at these huts at the entrance of Puerto Rico, it gives you the option now to like, maybe you headshot somebody or you kill somebody, you damage somebody in the boss pit. So now you can just drop down and push over there real quick and get up pretty fast and really take advantage of that kill that you maybe made. Uh, instead of having to go all the way around. And now when you get to the boss pit, they already rest and it's back to square one. So this one... Uh, this one is more where you have to make such long detours to get back up and use ladders uh, even, you know, so it's kind of hard to get back up. That's what this one is for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stairs. A lot of stairs, but we also add ladders, oh. by the way, later on. <laughs> so here's another uh, uh, really visible change, actually, with the new bridge. Yeah. Um, this has always been this weird situation there where... Uh, in the before screenshot you have this boat hanging back there but the boat actually just takes you to a ladder to get to the second floor of the boss pit if you do want to get to this boss pit you actually have to drop down use a ladder do some trick jumps or go all the way around and now it's just connected better I th I th we thought it made sense to to give it that connection and make it a bit easier to push it and sometimes it's just hard to get to the uh the boss room anyway so no, it's, it's, it's nice. And you can never really like if you don't have these connections, you also can't really take advantage of a of a good shot you get maybe on the defending team, right? So defending teams inside you land the headshot, but it doesn't do anything if you can't really follow up on it. So now, you know, you might be able to to do that where your teammates are maybe a bit closer already to the compound you're still a bit further back you manage to get a headshot on one of them your teammates can push in or you can push in together however you just you're faster there yeah that's awesome that will help out a lot in fights and uh we still have some uh, changes of steel water band mm -hmm. yeah this these screenshots aren't really telling uh <laughs> i mean uh in the back if you if you the test servers yeah. Yeah, in the middle of the picture in the back, there's a new uh, way down, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, so where this little roof is in the center, there's basically a new staircase that goes down, and where this little, where the um, the cage, the falling cage door is, there used to be a ladder that took you down in there. So the ladder is gone. The room in there now is a guaranteed resupply room, like where you can always expect some ammo crates. And the entrance into the boss pits is now a staircase uh, that you can access from here. And the reason for that was that a lot of times when you come from the northern part of the map and you come into Stillwater, you, you're you faced with a situation where one team is down in the boss pit, one team is where the White House is in the back there or in this barn or mainly like where the White House is because the White House controls a lot of these entrances. You have an entrance right by the house, you have the ladder in the barn next to it, you have another ramp and you can see, you can see almost all the entrances from this one spot. So it's very, it's a very key position to control this compound. And when you then come in from the north, 
even if you do want to just go down and face the team that is holding the bounty, you have to face the other team first to get there. So now this one allows you to just ignore the other team, go down, get the bounty, which is what I like, what I prefer. I just, I, I go down, I get the bounty from that team and then I fight the team upstairs. So it's just, it's just a bit cleaner this way. It's what we felt like. The chat has been asking you, like, what do you have against ladders? Uh, why is it just tears down? <laughs> But no, like, I, I think the change is really cool, but ladders are a bit dangerous sometimes, you know? <laughs> ladders are a bit dangerous. And that's such, I have no problem with ladders. I know um, I know some people have been asking me to make a compound just built from ladders, nothing else. Uh, Diva was a, a fun. great, um, made a big request there, yeah, sounds fun. Ladder land. Um, yeah, I do prefer stairs though, I'm sorry. <laughs> stairs are, uh, you can put traps on stairs, so they, they have a use. Uh, but yeah, that's it for uh, the first map, so Stillwater Bayou. And we have some uh, changes to the other maps as well. So let's uh, take a short look at Lawson Delta with Lumber and Salter Spork. So let's look at Lumber first. Yeah, Lumber is a small one, Salter Spork is a big one. But Lumber, you know this little drop down, you can barely see it here, it's where the ladder now is. But in the before, <laughs> it's you, you barely even see it, but this was actually a one-way drop to get out of the boss pit into this little area underneath. Uh, I personally use it when I was down there to throw nades up there because nobody ever expects them. Um, well, which you can still do, but people maybe are more aware of it now. And you have this letter now uh, just as um, how you say, you know, since we're removing letters everywhere and putting <laughs> stairs, you know, it's, you have, have to, to balance it a bit. Yeah. Somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> So there you go. Talking <laughs> of ladders, here's another one. <laughs> yeah, that's no, nah, that's the same. Oh, one the just same one just from the basically. other yeah. angle, yeah. So this is this is what it looks like down there now. So you have this ladder with a bit of cover behind it, so again you don't get shot from from the water side while you climb up, and you can use that now to have a sneaky way into the boss pit without having to go outside and get to the ramps and such because. It's easy to get down into this room, but then it's super hard to get to into the actual boss pit. You have to take long detours, and this one could be your shortcut, basically, unless you take the elevator, but it's, it could be a death trap as well. Like, it's a pretty risky approach. Uh, once I tried to send down a sticky bomb uh, in the elevator, but I also got stuck in the elevator, so I went down with it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, just fun fact. Okay, uh, let's look at Salter Spork then, which uh, we have some bigger changes, actually. Some really big changes. Big change. Yeah. Mm. Pow! <laughs> yeah, we all know and love the situation. Three teams in the corner at Salters, middle team. I mean, we've already reworked this area once. It used to be super open, and then we we drew in this fence there. We gave a bit more cover options left and right, and made it a bit more bearable for the middle team. But now, we've added this tunnel, which takes you into the side building, basically, and what it. What it allows you to do now is say, you, if you don't want to take part in the spawn fight, you, and you can just take the spawn fight into the compound. You could just, without even showing yourself on the road for these other two teams, you can just run straight through the tunnel into the side building, and then you're in a really um, advantageous position, I'd say, for the spawn fight, because you're already in the compound. You've got all the resupplies there, you know, uh, you've got the cover, the building. So. That's that's what it is also for escaping. Maybe if you manage to get your way into this into the side building, you can use the tunnel as a little way to not having to cross the road. But it's more for the spawn fight situation. It's not really uh, super useful, I guess, for escaping. But for the spawn situation, it's really good if you just want to slide in real quick. You know, uh, get into that side building and then not having to worry about north and south teams. I feel like also just from a thematic aspect, it's like really cool. Like uh, with the mines open, it's like kind of a theme of having tunnels now and new entrances. So yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. True. But that's an awesome change. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about the Desal as last. Obviously, we already showed you Kingsnake Mine in the beginning. So the mines are open. So we won't show that once again. But let's take a look at Fort Bolden. Yeah. <laughs> So we've done some changes here that are mainly thematically. Just this old bridge, it didn't really fit the fort. So this one, 
This one is a lot more in line with the whole aesthetic of, of Fort Bolden, right? It's um, It still offers plenty of options cover. You can you even have some letters on the side of this. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see them on the screenshots, but uh, you know, for all your letter lovers uh, You can there, see it on this one, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, you can right there. Yeah. So, basically... Um, changing the theme up a bit and just this entire area has been cleaned up a bit uh, it was kind of unpolished before and it's now better pathing better leading and thematically just more fitting and it all really ties into this civil war kind of fort wooden fort theme also here this bridge was really it felt really it felt too open so we're trying not to overdo it but to add some cover give you some options when you go over the bridge you know you have some you get shot you have some stuff to cover beyond take cover behind heal up drop down uh approach maybe from the forest but it's just it doesn't it's not this super open suicidal route that you avoid to begin with anymore and then we have some of the surrounding area too Right here, when you come from the spawn, there was always this little water thing there that you could just completely avoid or jump over. And now it's just it's just visually more appealing, uh, better leading, and basically a cleanup on the vegetation and all the surroundings there. Yeah, it looks uh, very aesthetically pleasing, I, I gotta admit. Really cool. And uh, obviously there are some smaller changes around the same area as well, but uh, please test it out on the test servers and look around what other yeah. things have been changed. But uh, not, we didn't just change some compounds, but we actually uh, made some improvements uh, to the spawn points. So we have added multiple new spawn points in uh, the Sal. Uh, they will be available now and we will show that you in a second on some pictures. And uh, maybe you want to explain what this exactly means. Uh, what, what was the systematic change we did? So we have a minimum distance between spawn points where teams are allowed to spawn now. Uh, basically what this means is it's primarily for the spawns on the cell where oftentimes, especially in the West, there was a lot of very clutch spawns with three or four teams basically right next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, and it caused a lot of frustration, especially since the area is generally a bit more open. You can see here a bit the spawns that we have on the cell. This is from Hunt Map, uh, and uh, a little bit the distances, and you can see the situation on the west <laughs> already and with this new system basically if you want to switch to the next slides it's only every other spawn can be active with this scenario right now so you can see um that the ones in kingsnake mine you they they are still active it's not that it's always every other but if they can't have a minimum distance between them then the one spawn cancels the next one out basically that's what it is um, so in this west western Dizal situation, this is some constellations, what it could look like, right? Only these spawns could be active together at a time, so you don't get these massive, big spawn fights anymore. You still get... Uh, actually, this change, just real quick as a note, uh, to not cause any confusion here, it does not affect... Um, what was the official names? Stillwater, Stillwater and Bayou and uh, Lawson Delta. Lawson. Yeah. <laughs> right. It doesn't affect any spawns there. You still get your triple spawn in Salters. You still get your triple spawn in Devant. The distance is set to a value where it does not affect these two maps. It's only really specifically set to combat the issue we have on Dassault on the west and east. You can also see in the east a lot of spawns being really close to each other. So we, we, like, we like spawn fights. Don't, don't get me wrong. I like spawn fights, <laughs> but they have to be fair um, and they have to follow a certain rule set. And this is basically our next step in um, assuring that rule set. And then what this system also allowed us is that you can see on this slide, uh, so I just drew in some <laughs> colors in there real quick, is uh, Heritage Pork only really had one spawn for it. And now we could actually add two more. So the green ones are three new spawns that we added there. The blue one is just the one from the corner up there that I moved a bit closer. And the, the red ones basically are removed. So we were able to add three new spawns there. One is specifically more for Pearl. 
and two for them are for heritage pork and they're now with this new system basically the new system makes it that these spawns are not problematic because otherwise they would be way too close if they wouldn't cancel each other out, out they would be way too close and this is only a first set of spawn points that we introduce with this new system that we have um we're looking at uh, also the other maps and also other spawn points on this map um, but also on the old maps we're looking at new locations that this new system now would allow us to put spawn points in and um, yeah this is something we are currently looking at for the next bigger update yeah and before we look at the three new spawn points uh some people said like oh but they love spawn fights we also love uh, spawn fights I I even if it's like three teams but uh, sometimes they were not fair like on the west side on the, some of the west side of the cell so we just want to make sure that they are fair uh that was the main goal with this change so uh right yeah Storm already you mentioned still, this but you still get them yeah you still get the Blanchard ones, Ellen and Sons Fish, oh, although I hate this one, actually. But you still <laughs> get them. They're still there. They, they're not changed. Uh, Salt is Pork, really good one. Devon, really good one. They still happen. Uh, Catfish still happens. Nothing nothing has been changed there. It's really, this change really only affects the West and East on the Sol and a little bit of the spawn points in the South as well, I believe. But it's mainly for, it only affects the Sol right now. But it allows us to add more spawn points also to the other maps in locations where they would have been too close to others uh, with the old system. But with the new system and they cancelling the next one over out, basically, we can put two spawns right next to each other and just have a little bit of a variation between them. And the new system would never allow to be for both of them to be active at the same time. So it would take either or. And this is really cool for us to to shake up the whole spawn point situation a little bit. Because uh, it can make a difference. Even if it's just 10 meters this way and look in another direction, it can already make you want to go to this compound rather than to that one that you'd always go to from that spawn position. So... Uh, Right. Yeah, it allows us to do some cool stuff. When you play a lot, you get so used to some of the pawn points. So it's, I think it's really cool to see new yeah. ones. And yeah, let's take a look at the three new that we've added. So this right. is one so of them. These, these are the heritage pork ones. So this one is basically the one, it's kind of or, already been there, but it's been moved more towards heritage pork now. You can still go, if you go to the left from where this camera is looking right now, you in Pearl Plantation, so you can still choose, but I think there's more of an incentive to go to Heritage Pork from here. Here's the other four pork. It would be this this one could be active at the same time as the one as we've seen before. So these two would so basically the one we've seen before would arrive at the watchtower roughly at the same time that this spawn point would arrive at this little barn. So you get this nice spawn fight over the fields back there between the two buildings. Uh, which which uh, I thought would would be really interesting. So again, like this one, taking it more towards there. And then this one is the one I moved more towards Pearl Plantation. Uh, very pretty dedicated Pearl Plantation spawn. Nothing much to say there. Um, yeah. 